Hi, I'm Stacy Phillips and I'm the organizer of Galentine's Day Project Timely Love from Huntersville, North Carolina. I started Galentine's Day because my friend Pat had met a homeless woman in a Burger King bathroom and the lady asked her for tampons and pads and she didn't have any. So Pat ran to the closest store and bought this woman underwear and tampons and come to find out she was homeless. And people, when Pat posted that on Facebook, were so in shock that this was something that goes on and is a pretty regular occurrence. But nobody was really doing anything. So I contacted ICE the day after Pat's post and three weeks later the first Valentine's Day happened. And this is the second year. The only way to network it I did was Facebook. I used Facebook and made an event and then the next thing you know there were a hundred people here last year and the Huntersville Town Hall then was full. And this year I started a little bit earlier and I made an official Facebook page. And that I've been working on since like November and it gradually grew and grew. I had already contacted ICE and pre-planned at the event this year because I knew it was going to happen. So it's every Thursday before Valentine's Day. Um, and then this year, I don't know. I mean, it's already as full now as it almost was last year. And there's so many people that have RSVP'd and at, there are events this year at not only Huntersville Town Hall, but Cornelius, Davidson, and Morrisville. So it's actually two counties are benefiting this year, which is really exciting. There are eight organizations that are receiving donations. Some of them are women's centers, um, and others are homeless shelters, and others are for women that are in are getting out of abusive relationships. And then there are a few churches that do outreach in the streets and work with homeless community one-on-one -on -one and they're getting things as well. I am actually going to keep this going year-round now and I'm working on making this a nonprofit and making it something that can be annual because last year the donations only lasted a couple months. So there's a real sincere need and it's not just homeless women that are benefiting anymore. There are kids that live with their grandparents on fixed incomes. There are women getting out of like, relationships that are abusive. I mean, it's insane how many people out there need something so basic, but it's a luxury to them. There's no website yet, but you can go on Facebook and find Galentine's Day Project Timely Love, and that's the page. And you can email Galentine's Day Project Timely Love at gmail.com. It's such a like mouthful, but I'm on all social media. And if people have any questions, or concerns or their groups they think need help they should definitely reach out and let me know. I want to thank everybody because this is truly an event built on community support and kindness and it's the most amazing thing I've ever been part of in my entire life. Hi I'm Lizzie. I'm seven years old. I'm helping with the donation and there's like a party you're supposed to give stuff to like other women that can't buy stuff. And I'm hoping other people are helping and this, a lot of people have brought stuff and we don't know how much stuff we have gave yet but we have gave a lot. You can see by now we, what, we got two people. My mom's friend in here, her husband are working on it. Me and my mom and me and my mom. I brought Dove and I brought some lotion. They're gonna be so excited because all this stuff. We always women like getting stuff from donations and stuff.